What's up guys? Nick Davis with 239 Flies and today we're going to tie the Schmittnator. It is a pattern that is much like the Mega Lollipop HD and the Tarpon Bunny that we've tied before it uses a lot of the same materials. You can tie it with the Mega Lollipop HD kit uh, with the addition of a couple extra materials. It is a pattern that I developed with the help of Captain Richard Schmidt who lives in Mississippi. Needed something that he wanted to throw with some big bull redfish up there in the marsh. So uh, he liked the look of the Mega Lollipop HD, worked together on the pattern, and uh, works really well, loves it. It's come really big up there, it's a lot like a tarpon fly, just with a redfish twist on it. And uh, I've used it down here in, in South Florida, works great. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to think of something that doesn't eat a big looking shrimp or you know food looking item. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So we're going to use our Daiichi 2546 size 2. Mm -hmm. This is a very stout hook, even though it is a size 2. Uh, plenty of customers have sent me big ass redfish they've caught up in Louisiana on this hook. Take our thread back to the start of the, back to where it hits the barb. Pull this back. Now we're going to palmer this forward where the hook shank flattens out. So we have Palmer this material forward. This is the medium cactus chenille in red. And next, we're gonna tie on our honey strip. And this is gonna be a little bit different than the Mega Lollipop HD. Oh, we got a nice little section there. We'll just use that. Hold this flat. This is nice and flat. We'll trim that here in a second. And first we need to put our mono loop in there. Take our piece of 40 pound Mason hard mono, crimp down one side of it. it gives us a little easier of a tie-in point. We're going to tie this in just like we do for the Mega Lollipop HD or the Tarpon Bunny. I'm just going to put a, put a mono loop in there. I don't go crazy securing this thing down because we're actually going to take it off. Lay the thread on there. And just secure that. Doesn't have to be super straight right now. So we're gonna take it off. We're gonna run it through here. We need our sharp scissors. We go in right about there. About an inch up from where it's side into the hook. Slide our mono through. Now we're going to take the whole damn thing off. I'm not really sure the best scenario to run this through this way first because it'd be a little difficult to hit a hole through there. So we do it on that side. It just takes a second longer. If you find a better way to do it, please let me know. But I'm going to flatten this side. this in. That's secure. Now we're going to pull this down. Mono. To where the green fibers start. Should come up right behind the red cactus chenille. Yep, right about there. That's where we should tie it in at. About an inch from where the uh, mono goes through the hide. Pull this tight. And then we're going to bend the mono back down the shank of the hook and tie that in. So we're tying the same mono loop we tie on the Mega Lollipop HD or the Tarpon Bunny or any other fly that's got a bunny strip in it. But we're just going to reverse it. So we've got pretty side on top. 
We take our lice brush and just tie that out. That looks nice. All right. So now we got our we got two of the grizzly legs, the silly legs. We're going to tie these on on each side of the mono loop that we put in there. So we got two coming out the side. We're just going to bend it around. We got two coming out this side. Cut those about the same length as the deer hide, the uh, rabbit strip hide. Okay. Now we'll, we're going to go back to the, bring the thread back to where the rabbit strip is. Grab your polar chenille or palmer chenille, whichever you got. And we're going to tie that in. And on top that little hump that we tied in the bunny strip. Your hackle pliers. And we're just going to palm her forward. Tie that on there like that. Don't want to go too crazy. We're going to cover this up. But that's looking good. Palmer chenille is a little unruly, but we're about to cover it up, make it look good. Now we're going to grab our Arctic Fox. We can cut off the same amount that we did before for our other flies. Pull the guard hairs out, about a quarter of a pencil diameter. Tie that in right there, right in front of the Palmer chenille. Tie that in, that looks good. It's going around the bottom half of the hook shank. I'm gonna rinse and repeat on top. And split this with your fingertips right over the point of the hook. And tie that in on top of that, like so. Should cover the circumference of the hook shank. And it does. Looks good. All right. Now we can trim up the Arctic Fox. Our hairline done in double pupil. Lead eyes. You can use the black and the. They have a black eye with a green pupil that looks really good too. Chartreuse. But. Sticking with the lemon lime theme, we'll use yellow. We'll dab Sap Joe. Just a little bit, a little dab will do you. Next, we need some more silly legs. Just love silly legs. We'll use the crazy legs, green with the orange tips. And we're going to tie these in so that the orange. The orange tips of the legs start about halfway through the Arctic Fox. I'll show you here in a second once we get it tied in. So we want to get those, those orange accents in there. And we want to tie it back, tie back the legs until the or to the back of the Arctic Fox. Length of the legs, the amount of chartreuse in there, the amount of orange and where we're going to tie them off at. So now we'll bring these up to the top like such. We're going to trim them to about inch and a half length to the Arctic Fox again. And we're going to tie in our EP Foxy Brush in the yellow. You could also tie this with the uh, tarantula brush or you could even spin some deer hair on top of there. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do but 
For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use Arctic Fox or the uh, Foxy Brush. Tie that in. Get it synced up there. And we're ready to go. One more turn. If you find this stuff isn't turning right, or when you try to palmer it, it's facing the wrong way, normally you can twist the material get it lined up and uh, and then this will lay nice and flat for you like this nice pull it tight and then we're gonna bring it on the bottom and we're gonna tie it off on the bottom of the hook tie it off Two securing wraps and a trim. Slick back the fibers. Trim it up like we did before. A little bend in it. Do the bottom. Little touch at the top. All right, now, if you're a real baller, we're gonna take our bobbin, trim that up for a weed guard, and then we're gonna tie that right on top. Few securing wraps on top like so and then we're going to go behind it and around it whip finish behind the weed guard trim this off like so we'll grab the orange we're going to match our silly legs toothpick we're going to take this just right over the thread that we tied the weed guard on the light pink thread pull a little orange on top of it and that's gonna give us a color very similar to those legs but we'll let that dry and then we'll hit it with a little floater finish we're pretty dry here if we were gonna make up a bunch of these we could have made them all up and let them all dry together done this all at one step take a little bit of the loon UV flow Dab that on there like so. Nice little coating. Hit it with the light. Cure it up. Should be hardened by now. This is how you tie the Schmidt Nader.